Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, well, do I have something for you? Uh, you might have seen this in other videos from uh, Island Sim Pilot, uh, Michael or Steve via Flight Sim Guy. Well, I've been using this uh, for the last uh, four days since the uh, or just about a week but mostly since the last update the 0.4.4.0 uh, update came out and this is uh, really a very good auto FPS program for Microsoft Flight Simulator yes they came with their own kind of auto FPS which you can activate in the settings is that uh, dy dynamic thing is it but nobody really knows what it does and it doesn't do it very good and auto fps from reset transponder that's this one that i'm showing and there's also another one it's from kj i think his uh, his name is i had the other one first from kj and that one is with the blue light blue background it will have you set your uh, object level of detail and uh, terrain level of detail in non-VR mode first at about 55 and 195 um, and then this one came out four days ago from Reset Transponder and you don't have to set anything in the sim so what it does uh, you just download it install it run it start the sim it will automatically connect do the same so on the top you see the connection status i'm running microsoft flight simulator 2024 got sim connect and i'm in session all three green and we're good to go just like the landing gear right <laughs> three greens and we are, are able to land right so and then you can see my sim values is uh, fps 103 terrain level of detail is now set to 300 that's maxed out and my object level of detail is 75 so the general you see the target frame generator uh, active FPS I'm using the frame gen and then click on auto target FPS keep it on top so it's always on top and you see the target FPS is 93 I'm getting 102 100 and then you see down there below the uh, expert options you don't have to click here on the expert options but I like to do that because not that I want to fiddle around with all the uh, input that you can set there I just want to uncheck decrease cloud quality I want my cloud quality that's now set to high always stay the same so if you're running low on FPS it will decrease the cloud quality uh, as well and that will change the whole look and feel of the sim so that's the one that I leave unchecked I don't want it to change the cloud quality I want the cloud quality to stay the same if I want to fly with medium quality clouds I fly with medium quality clouds I don't want them to change to low or to higher well I'd like to say, yeah, have them higher but I always keep my clouds at high that gives me a very good performance and they look very nice uh, they don't look nice at medium really they don't try it go with high the uh, performance hit is uh, hardly noticeable when you go with the high clouds ultra clouds is different but uh, if you're getting these FPS you can go with ultra clouds of course Alright, so that's the only thing I do, because when you untick this uh, expert options it will decrease your cloud, so it's, it's, it's going fully automatic which does work in a very 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 good way but uh, that's what I do, and then you can check if you want to fly, fly uh, VFR or IFR so that's a different kind of uh, targets it wants to meet when you're flying VFR because then you want lots of detail on the ground uh, or you're flying IFR and 
you want your cloud quality to be the best and so that's, those are different settings so if you're way up high or low as we are flying right now so that's a uh, different kind of quality settings all right and this also works of course in VR because now we are in 2d mode and yeah it looks absolutely great even from outside Look at that detail. So yeah, how does this look in VR and what are the settings that we can get in VR uh, or the, uh, the values? Well I can say I get about 40 to 45 frames per second in VR. And I've changed my VR settings from uh, DLAA and I went for uh, DLSS balanced and then upscaled in the OpenXR toolkit which gives me a, a little bit more performance a little bit well the quality stays around the same and um, yeah it's very very good performance and all the other settings that I'm using in the sim my uh, VR graphic settings they are still the same I only changed uh, DLSS to balanced instead of using DLAA DLAA gives me a very good stable view but then I'm not getting more than 30-35 uh, FPS and with DLSS balanced I'm most of the time getting more than 40 to 45 fps which gives me a much smoother experience all right so let's jump into vr and let's see what those settings are in there Alrighty, guys so now we're in vr and you can see i'm getting uh, 37 fps 36 37 and it's absolutely butter butter smooth um, you can run in the uh, IFR options or in the VFR options um, there are slightly differences in how it's calculating things I'm not sure which one I'm in now but I think I'm in VFR yeah and I can also go to IFR and it will give me just a little bit more FPS because my uh, terrain level of detail is lower the max terrain level of detail is 200 for me in IFR so that gives me a little bit uh, of FPS back but I'm getting 38, 39 with recording and recording cost me about I think 8 to 10 FPS so without recording I can get 45 FPS while flying here with these beautiful clouds and, and that, this is absolutely great so shout out to Reset Transponder this is a very good app and very much needed for the community because a lot of people are struggling with FPS and uh, yeah I recommend this one over the other one because you don't have to change anything it's just download install, run and enjoy the sim. That's it. Everyone can do it. No need to uh, go into those expert options unless you want to tweak everything. No. The basic settings for uh, outdoor FPS are uh, really good for everyone. Really, I mean it. So guys, grab yourself a copy of uh, Auto FPS. Um, if you had the one for MFS uh, 2020, uh, you can uh, update to this one, install it. It will automatically update over the latest one or the, the older one, and then you can use the uh, this one. And then uh, check that you're using uh, the correct version. 
whilst running it, it will say so that you have the latest version. So otherwise, um, it will tell you to update it. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. So, guys, thank you for watching, and um, see you in the next one. It is about my uh, top five add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator Career Mode. Hey, look, there's nobody in the cockpit. Oh, everybody, everybody's gone. Uh, have a look from here. Ah, bye for now and take care.